Here's an example of a proof we're going to do that will show the two triangles are similar. Not congruent, but similar. We know that FG and GH are congruent, right here, marked congruent. We know that JK and KL marked congruent. We know that F and J are congruent. So we're going to try to figure out a way to show that these two might be congruent or those two might be congruent so that we can use the AA tilde postulate. So let's see if we can do that. <clears throat> so I first of all have taken all the given information, put it in the statements, and the reason was given. All right, so now I want to say that, look, these two triangles are, they are uh, isosceles. So because the two uh, legs here are congruent, the base angles will be congruent. So first of all, I got to say that they're isosceles. So triangle uh, FGH, let me fix my pencil real quick here, triangle FGH and triangle JKL are isosceles, right? And that is basically the definition of what an isosceles triangle is. So I'll leave it at that. I also then can say that F and H are congruent and J and L are congruent. So um, angle F is congruent to angle J and, or I'm sorry, angle H, not angle J. F is congruent to angle H and angle J congruent to angle L. All right. My pencil is not cooperating. Let me get a different pencil here. So that is the, the idea that base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. Okay, so now I know that these two are congruent and these two are congruent. I can't quite say uh, that the triangles are similar yet because I need to show that this one and this one are congruent. And I don't have that yet. It doesn't say anywhere in here that H and L are congruent. But I can, I can use the transitive property because think about it. I know that F and J are congruent. It says so right there. So, And I know that F and H are congruent. So here's what I'm going to write. I'm going to write that angle H is congruent to angle J. And the reason I'm going to say that is because of the transitive property. Okay? F is congruent to H, and F is congruent to J. Therefore, H is congruent to J. So for the same reason, I'm going to say that H is congruent to angle L, the transitive property. And now that H and L are congruent, I can now say that triangle FGH is similar to triangle JKL. And the reason would be the AA tilde postulate. You got to think about your way through this part of the proof because that's not quite intuitive. But work your way through it, rewatch the video if you need to, to sort of get that clear in your mind.